Well, good morning and welcome back to another Daily Hot Sheets of Roswell, Georgia. I am your host, Tanya Gardier mcleod and thanks for joining me. Today is Wednesday, so happy hump day. Let's take a look and see what the rates are doing, and then we'll take a look at what's happening here in the Roswell area for the last 24 hours. Right now, we have a 30-year fix. It's inching back up at 6.92, which is what we started the week out at. 15-year fix you can get for 6.3. You can get FHA for 6.20. Jumbo's coming in at, at seven and a quarter. And our VA is at 6.21. Remember, all of these graphs are interactive. So when you click on them, you can see it to the right that it moves around. And you'll be able to see that every day. It comes back. When you come back, it'll um, update. And then take that rate for today's daily fixed rate at the nine, uh, 692. And then you click over here to calculate what your mortgage payment would be. And then you could just swap it out right here and put 6.92. And you'd see what it would do from a 4% rate at this uh, 964 coming in at 1320 when you go up to today's rate. And remember, the rates are subjective. It always remembers what your, or always depends on what your uh, debt to income ratio is, your credit score, all those other things. Okay, so let's see what's happened in the last 24 hours right here in Roswell. We have two new listings. One fell out of contract is back on the market. Three are pending, three closed, one expired, and four are active under contract. So let's see what our two new listings are. We have one at Canyon Point. These are both attached homes and one at Liberty Loss. Um, that one was already on the market, I believe. Hang on, let's see. Okay, Canyon Point uh, offered at three point uh, three hundred and nine thousand nine hundred, and it's a two bedroom, two bath, one level condo built in nineteen eighty six. River Eves, River Eves, in um, Holcomb Bridge in Centennial High School. Let's take a look at what you can get for three oh nine. Not sure if it's a lower or upper level. Looks like from the picture it might be lower level. So that's nice walk-in level. Yeah, a little garden uh, patio there. Okay. And let's just make sure that this wasn't on the market before. It was just the coming soon, so that's why it looked familiar. Okay, and then the other one we have that was on the market, and um, I'm not sure if they withdrew. Let's see, but it's definitely back on the market. This one, it expired. Oh, interesting. So they had it on the market for 62 days and withdrew it. Then they put it back on the market for only 23 days, and it expired, and now they're back on the market. Okay. Let's take a look at this. You can see this one is Roswell High School. It's offered for five sixty five. dollars Super cute home. What a great little patio and balcony. Nice kitchen. It's a great, it's a great unit. So um, if you're looking for a great townhome in the Roswell area, that would be two different options you can have here. One's a condo and here's one that fell back out of market. So it was under contract and for whatever reason, um, they could not agree during the inspection and it came back on. So I do see that it is investor owned and um, let's see what you get here at 485. Okay, so super cute. Get a feel for what 45 can get you at the Enclave at Hembury Park. So that is Milton High School, Elkins Middle School, and Hembury Elementary. Okay, so that's the one that fell out of contract and came back on. And three went pending. So the Orchards went back pending. Yay, Park Bridge, Princeton Cove. So this for 500. This for 649. This for 900, the one at Gillum. So, yay, we like when they're hard pending. That means that um, they're past their inspection, their due diligence. They're just waiting for closing day. And then, speaking of closing day, here are three that got to experience closing day uh, yesterday. So, here at Chimney Lakes, uh, actual lake uh, property on this one, unless that was the community part of it, but I think it's dock deck with lake view. So, I'm thinking it's theirs, not like a community part. Okay. So this one closed, it was listed at 495. You see over here in the top right, but it ended up closing for 547, quite a bit over list price, 50 grand plus over list price. So interesting that, um, 
that one is experiencing over list price. So just letting you know that some are still doing that. Here's one at the Overlook at Litchfield. Um, this one closed at 1.492, slightly, very slightly under list price. This is a beautiful property. I love the setting. I think it's a very charming, um, beautiful setting. Shows beautifully. It's really beautiful. Built in 2017. Looks like new construction. Really pretty. And Chad's Ford finally closed 255. It was listed at 269. Townhome there, kind of near 400. Centennial High School, Haynes Bridge. All right. And those are the ones that got a closing yesterday. Here's one that expired. That's the Liberty Lost one. That's the one that just came back on the market. And then we have four that are active under contract. So we have Martin's Landing at 729.9, Northgate 740, Wildwood Springs, which is a brand new listing, is already actively under contract. Congratulations for 850. Uh, these are the list prices. Again, reminder, we don't know what it's going to actually close for. 735 for a fall staff. So real quick, just show you. This is the Martin's Landing one that was able to get under contract. That one, didn't get to see the pictures before. They only had the exterior, so, okay. And Northgate, this is the one that's under contract, what price point, 740. It was very pretty updated on the inside. They did a great job. Really nice update. 740 is what it's listed for while it's under contract. Birch Hollow, this is that Wildwood Springs house, which is my neighborhood. So we're super excited for this to be under contract and waiting to see who we get for our new families and you can see beautiful updates look at the kitchen really nice kitchen with the marble flooring the pot filler had some really nice updates um so excited to see who gets to move in here and the list price was 850 when it went under contract and here's the windsor forest one was 735 this is also a really nice setting nice home nicely updated so we'll see what this one ends up selling for so that's what's happening in our market today please reach out to me and let me know what questions i can answer and if there's anything at all that i can do i would love to uh, be a resource answer questions about the market about rates put you in touch with my favorite lenders and um, really just be here as a resource for you to help um, tell you what's really going on in the marketplace. If you have a different area that you'd like to focus on and you'd like a daily hot sheet or some information on maybe your specific subdivision, your area and city, if it's around Roswell and not specifically Roswell, let me know. I'd be happy to put that together for you. Have a great day. See you tomorrow.